Hi, it's Molly and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting. It's going to be all of my best tips for hair color at home. I actually made myself notes so that I don't get off topic because I like to get off topic. Today's video is going to cover four different topics. The first being tips for your best hair color, specifically strawberry blonde. Two, how to get your best hair color if you have grays like me. So just some tips to make the gray, you know, covering, covering up gray hair better. Three, we are going to go over my specific formula step-by-step, step, exactly how I do it, the ounces, etc. And four, we're gonna go over a little process I call A-B-T. So let's get started. First of all, this is my applicator bottle. It is the most basic applicator bottle you've ever seen. It just says applicator on the side. I'm going to link to the exact one below because I have used so many different applicator bottles. I bought fancy schmancy ones, blah, blah, blah. I have spent so much money on these stupid applicator bottles. This one is the most basic, cheapest one I've ever purchased and it is the best. I love it. It fits up to 15 ounces. If you have really thick hair like me, you're gonna need a lot of color. It's awesome. So I'm gonna link this exact one. Here's what I discovered the other day, and that is that order matters. Before, I was putting in my light golden blonde shade, then my red blonde, and then a little bit of my brown blonde shade. And I would mix it all up, and I felt like every time I did my color, it would come out a little teeny bit differently. So I do my four drops of my brown blonde, and then I added my Titian red blonde, and then on top of that, I did my golden blonde. And doing it in that order made such a big difference because I could make sure that I had the exact perfect amount of the red blonde. And that was the biggest factor for me before was that sometimes it would come out a little bit too red or whatever, you know, a little bit too red, a little bit too dark because I was doing my golden blonde first and then adding the red blonde afterwards and so it was always a little bit off. So this way I could make sure that I got the exact 1.5 ounces perfect amount in there, added the golden blonde, golden blonde on top, added my developer, best color of my life. The other thing that is really important, I thought this looks really interesting because it's different than any color brush I'd seen before. It's actually got a metal dividing stick, comb, rat, rat tool, and I don't know what else to call it. So especially if you have gray hair, you need to be, after you apply the color, you need to be pushing it in with a comb. It makes a huge difference for me. And this brush makes all the difference because I wanna show you how nice and clean it parts your hair like I've never seen in just the nicest, cleanest line. And so this has made it so easy to really get through and get to all the sections that might get left behind. One, the color charm formula comes in either a gel or a liquid. I use the gel. The gel absolutely covers those grays better for me. Tip number two is you can take a Q-tip and you can take your developer and you dip your Q-tip in the developer and then you just touch it wherever you have very resistant grays. For me, that's right here and right here, it's my temple. And then I do get some patches in here and around here that are very resistant. So you'll take your Q-tip, you put the developer on them, touch that on them, and then I start to mix up my color so that these little pieces get an extra one minute to two minutes with the developer on. It doesn't seem like it's enough time to really make a difference, but for some reason it makes a huge difference and I really feel like it blends the temple so naturally so that I don't get that, like where you can kind of see that it's gray. I, I wanna show you the difference that I think it makes because there are sections where I didn't do this where I will next time, so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. So I didn't do it on my roots at all as you can see, but I did do it on my temple and I feel like the temple is like blending so nicely. And there's just parts of my roots where I do feel like they, you can see right here, are just a little bit lighter than the rest of the hair. 
So next time I'm gonna try to put a little bit of developer on these front pieces beforehand and just see what happens. I'm gonna zoom back out now. So I do get a lot of questions where people are like, I feel like my roots are either coming out too light or too red. And what I would say is one, test it out and see if adding that developer beforehand over the gray areas helps at all. If not two, you're gonna to need to tweak your formula a little bit. I'm not gonna get into that right now because that goes along with point four. On to my exact formula and the order that I put everything in my hair. These are the three shades that I am using. And, and the order goes like this. I always start out with a little bit of coconut oil on my ends. I just do maybe the bottom two inches, but I always make sure I have coconut oil. It makes a really big difference so that your ends don't get fried. So I use the best applicator bottle of all time. And what I do is I add four drops of the 7G Sunlit Blonde Brown. Four drops, I know, is not a technical number. It's not ounces, whatever, but it's what works for me. I actually feel like the roots even maybe came out a little teeny bit too peachy this time, so maybe next time I will add five drops and see how it goes. So what I do is I add four drops of this, and then next up, this is the 8RG, is I add in enough of this until it gets to 1.5 ounces. Because we already added the four drops of 7G, you're not gonna add in the full 1.5 ounces of this, but add enough until your bottle gets up to the 1.5 ounces line. And then finally, we are gonna take, this is the 8G, and you're gonna add a full two ounces of this. It's the whole entire tube. This one's probably the easiest amount. So add the whole tube, and then I'm gonna add seven ounces of my developer and that takes us up to 10.5 ounces total. You're gonna mix this whole bad boy up. It's gonna look like candy corn, super fun. You're gonna mix the whole thing up. Make sure you put your finger right over here. That's where, why obviously too, you're gonna be wearing your plastic gloves and you're gonna mix the whole thing up. I like to go around my hairline first, really make sure all those hairs are covered. After I plied around my hairline, then I like to go right down the middle first, and then I, I'll go like this all the way down, start the formula, bring the formula all the way up, and then work the comb in that way, switch sides, and then go back and fill in the sides here, fill in the sides here. I let that all sit on my roots for 30 minutes, and then once the 30 minutes is up, I bring the rest of the color down the body of my hair for about another 10 minutes. Before, I think I was maybe doing 15. That works as well, but for me, I've just found that 40 minutes seems like it's uh, enough time. So I have 40 minutes processing total. I hop in the shower. I rinse all that color out first. Then I shampoo it. Then usually I'll shampoo it a second time. And then I will add a conditioner all throughout and maybe a deep conditioner on my ends. That's my whole process. AVT stands for always be tweaking because you have to be changing up your formula until you find the right one for you. I promise you, you are going to be so much happier if you play around with your formula a little bit and just get the right one for you. My hair is gray, white, you know, dark in some parts. And so I'll get emails from people. I'll get requests from people that are like, what should I do? My hair is all brown or bleach blonde or you know super black can i use the same exact formula as you and get the same results i wish that i could just say yes but definitely not like every every hair color formula is so different so i would start out with what i use and if you think that it's it comes out too red the next time just take down that 8rg a little bit if you think it comes out too blonde the next time maybe Add a little bit more of the 8RG. Just add, you know, the, the Titian Red Blonde. Just keep tweaking the, how many ounces you use of everything. You can also tweak, like, for instance, I get a little bit lazy sometimes with my hair color, so I probably should do my roots with the 7G to knock out those grays. 
but honestly, the body of my hair doesn't really need that 7G, and I do feel like my ends come out a little bit too dark. And so next time that I do my formula, maybe I'll only put the 7G on my roots and then totally take it out and just remix formula for my ends that's just 8RG and 8G. You can also tweak the level of developers you use. You can use a level 20 on your roots and then mix up new color and use a level 10 on the body of your hair if you really don't need to bring up the color that much and you're just refreshing the color. Always be tweaking ABT. Also, if you have tried the formula and you figured out something that works for you, it is so helpful to other people. I know that it doesn't seem like it might be, but please leave a comment below with your personal experience of what your base color was when you started, the formula that you use that you tried that works well for you, anything like that, because I get so many emails from people and a lot of them have very common threads. And so I feel like we gotta just build this whole big strawberry blonde community and share all of our little tips and tricks and all that stuff. So if you have something that works for you, let me know below because you are being very helpful. It's very helpful to everyone. That wraps it all up. Here's my finished color, my favorite strawberry blonde of all time that I've ever done for myself. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Go check out the blog, Girl Get Glamorous. I'll have everything down below. Just click on read more and that whole little box will expand. It'll have all the details. It'll have the direct links to everything I use because now I'm realizing how important it is. And I will see you in the next video. All right, thank you so much. Oh, dun, 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 dun. I am starting to up my Pinterest as well. So please go check out my Pinterest, which is Molly Gardner one, because I started a Pinterest years ago before I ever thought of having a blog. And I pinned like four cat videos.